or poke at things. Sorry, sit on me, and then run off to do other stuff like eat. Got the other guys. I think we finally got uh, one over on our cats. Ooh, Gladius's personal terminal. We'll have to look at that in a second. Ooh. Read a lady's diary? Why, certainly. Field scribe Halen, personal log entry, 324A. I'm starting to wonder if joining the Brotherhood of Steel was a good choice. I originally signed up seeking protection and comradeship, but... Uh, there was a Nuka Cola on the floor to the right. Alright, no, empty. The Brotherhood's message it's a goddamn. But the is there anything in the beer bottles? Noble, but their methods? No, nope, just bottles. The leadership seems especially misguided. Instead of diplomacy, they wield violent confrontation to exert control. Despite all that, mm -hmm. I've been successfully avoiding the fighting by following the career path of the field scribe. I suppose only time will tell. Yes, field scribe. Hmm. Okay, kind of interesting to get a little bit of insight into her character. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pre-war money. Handcuffs. You know, actually, this makes a lot more sense than a lot of places you find handcuffs. What with this being a police station? Hmm. Perhaps. Which, evidently, this place got pretty thoroughly trashed. Of course, that's not really surprising. I mean, yeah, I'm sure people were riding or doing all kinds of crazy stuff right after the bombs fell. And there's a cat bowl inside the filing cabinet. I think somebody had a kitty in here. Well, it's it's been years. Ooh, sunglasses. Danger zone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I I couldn't help it. Ah, there we go. Give us a bonus perception. How do we look? Eh, we'll see. And there's a safe. Ah, you're right. There is a safe. Back here. No. It's by the door. Oh. Yes, how did I miss the giant block of a safe? Um. I, I could make assumptions, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I think it's actually a lot easier and smoother to turn the uh, to turn the thing if you've actually got a like I'm playing on a computer. Uh, metal arms are a little bit better; they'd be an improvement over what we have, but we only have a metal right arm right now. No, two metal right arms. And this is a one hell of a tricked out pipe sniper rifle. It's a hell of a lot better than the sniper rifle you currently have, I believe. That's a good point. So, let's go ahead. What do we have? We have a... Yeah, quick hair trigger versus a... Damage is comparable. A little bit better. Yeah, but I think this one actually has a better scope. And it's got a good uh, size magazine, so we'll take it. Whoa. Who's a good boy? Why are you standing around here like there's nothing to do? Paladin Dance is waiting for you. And I'm looting. And so. he said I could take whatever I needed to replenish what I had used to assist you. So shut up and let me loot. <laughs> See, honestly. What, was that not clear enough? I don't know what Scribe Halen, what Halen sees in him. Other than being, you know, the only man who's not sitting there walking around in a tin can. Well, I would say his penis, but... <laughs> We're just making some assumptions there. Ooh. And there's some buff out. All kinds of rounds. Stim packs. There's some jet to the right. Yeah, at least. Yeah, at least the jet makes sense because 
you know, it's, this building has been open since the war. And there's, I believe, either Buff Out or Radaway. Ha, <laughs> Patrolman Sunglasses. Ooh, Military Fatigues. Are those better? Well, if nothing else, I think you can wear them under armor pieces later. Oh, that's nice. Um, hmm. Bonus to agility, but nothing other than electrical defense. So yeah. we'll just keep those for a while. And take every, continue our mission to there take everything. Is, look down on the floor. Ooh, iguana on a stick. Yes. If, if you look to the left, there's jet and buff out. In, in the box okay. and some entats. So I'm guessing this is pretty much the evidence locker. Yeah, speaking of which, there's a computer. Actually, here. that doesn't make any sense because they didn't have jet back when this was a police station. True. So I guess somebody sat there and stuffed it in the uh, in a box. I think they decided to use this as a, uh, you know, just a storage area. Okay, we'll use hopes. So it's definitely not hopes or waves. Can't be worry because that would have gotten at least one thing in common. I'll go for avoid. Avoid's close, but it can't be sword because that would be two. How about there? How about slave? What am I doing? There's nothing in common there. How about there? Nope, there is closer. So it's the, that I in the fourth place is what the common common spot is. Peril. I think it's peril. That's well, the only other one that I can see that has a uh, an I in Got the. It. And you were right. <sighs> I could be a hacker. I should have been a hacker. Hollywood hacking. Yep. Uh, let's see. First case: Holbrook sedition logs. They actually, yeah, they arrested somebody for having you having pamphlets about unionizing. Kind of gives you an idea of what the pre-war United States was right was like in this universe. It seems like the nineteen uh, teens and twenties didn't exactly happen, <laughs> like uh, <laughs> it did for us. Adam's public intoxication logs: one set of clothes abandoned at scene, <laughs> <laughs> and two bottles of platinum inebriator. inebriator inebriator that's somehow hard to say Tra transfer to trash <laughs> hmm oh whoops winter holotape logs return to agent mitchell boston badtiful huh. okay huh. so i guess these are some holotapes that were about some pre-war suspect Nelson Re Reckless Endangerment. Two spools of copper cable. Three fission pal home nuclear reactors. You know, you know, you can get those just anywhere. Yeah, so I think somebody was trying to build themselves a nuclear reactor or something like. Rat poison. You gotta keep those rats under control somehow. Yeah, I think that this almost... You know what this looks like to me is... Like a suspect interviewing room. Oh yeah, I can see that. Although I have to say, it's much nicer than what I always imagined those to be like. I mean, they have a picture on the that was on the wall at one point. Well, you know, just looking at kitties makes people more willing to talk. You know, that's I'm pretty sure actually a verifiable fact. Um, I know that uh, when I see kitties, I am far more likely to talk, probably about said kitties, because <laughs> yeah, I. I do that. Of course, then again, I'm also the the one who's a little bit crazy enough to sit there and actually carry on conversations with the cat, so. Well, the more worrisome part is how much the cats talk back. A lot. You'd be surprised. What's that, Mr. Fluffles? What's that, Mr. Fluffles? You want me to kill them all, but I can't do that. Who's going to fill our cat bowls, then? That is a fair assessment. That's the only reason why the cats keep me around. Well, we can actually go up on the roof here.
And the good thing is, with all of this, we're actually getting pretty close to having maybe enough ammo to deal with that uh, Corvega factory. You planning to do that one next, or you're going to go with dance? I um, think go with dance first, and then go do do the factory. For a second, that looked like some kind of cannon. Yeah. And there's nothing more around here. It's kind of neat they have a little police helipad right here. Yeah, nothing really making itself known here. Hmm. And I think there's one more room to check in here. One that occasionally gets some weird glitches going on with it. Hmm, the basement? Um, yeah, the basement slash garage area. Which is over this way. And down the stairs. Got some... I'm going to have to drop off some junk sometime soon. I'm actually getting weighted down with it. So what happens when you pick up everything that, uh... You know, for a, is for a, it nailed down? Yeah, for a motor pool, this is kind of actually pathetic. Well, then again, it's not necessarily a large town. Relatively. Plus, I tend to think of their police as, because I've, I haven't seen anything to the contrary, as being kind of like Andy Griffith. I mean, that said, they do have a power armor station here, so I guess maybe if your motor pool is full of power armor, you don't actually need... Well, you know, it's actually another thing that they could have had a combination, uh, like, where they sat there and had, uh, military, uh, interactions, mm -hmm. so to speak. You kind of like, uh, how police in the United States get military gear. Well, actually, I was thinking more along the lines of, uh, like the rules of the military that we have that you know they're not allowed to do any do any military action on american soil yeah uh only they don't have that true probably got repealed but yeah so it's actually possible for ghouls in that first original fight to glitch out and end up in here which is kind of a pain in the neck because you can't actually get to them except until you can get inside the police station which really sucks if you piss off dance. Yeah. I didn't actually expect that when I said gave the sarcastic reply that would be counted as a yes, I'll do it. <laughs> but okay. So I guess we have a mission. Dance. You ready to move out? Yeah, sure. Ready? Outstanding. Follow I like me. those sunglasses. Danger zone. Yes, don't worry, I'll follow you and let you soak up any bullets to come our way. You have fucking power armor. I don't. I have to say it's a nice little addition, him doing the flip. I never caught that in uh, any prior playthrough. Yeah, just a little bit of flair. You know, flair, panache. <laughs> Yeah, people have actually referred to him as Buzz Lightyear. I I know somebody has uh, modified his personal ooh, ooh. forty five rounds and a hairbrush. Is he got to keep? I can his... hardly get a comb through this. It's so thick. Yeah, people have actually recolored him to be uh, Buzz Lightyear. Which is pretty impressive. So the, the plot thickens. And, you know, it's funny just how much concern he has about this, considering his gear. You just go on ahead. I'm just going to take a quick look in here. 
he won't actually let you go behind, so you actually are free to... Ooh, raiders. Get him, dog! Uh, okay, but don't get in my way. Damn it. Yeah. Stole the experience. You know, I'm really disappointed. There's no booze. I know. What kind of merchant is this? As far as my team goes, we've lost four good men to this godforsaken wasteland. But the whole place is a godforsaken wasteland. I don't intend to give up and head home. Or end up missing. Yeah, I love the fact that he's just sitting here lecturing us while we're happily looting through everything. You're rifling through people's dead pockets. And he, he's just like, yeah, whatever. It's like, I'm just going to keep telling you. All about, you know, things you honestly probably don't care that much about. But you should. Sure thing, buddy. Sure thing. But seriously, with that power armor and that laser uh, rifle, he could probably just punch his way through this entire area. They really don't need you, but, you know, it's, it's nice to feel needed, I guess. And that, and he doesn't mind me helping myself to anything I find, so. Case in point. I'll be honest, it's, it's rather disappointing. If you don't get a shot off before he destroys it, he takes that sweet, delicious experience. God damn it, dance. We talked about this. No, uh... Disintegrating everything before I get a shot in. Okay, now go ahead. Yeah, now I get experience from all of these. He's actually a pretty good shot, though. I can say that for him. Who's this? Oh, some dude named Gene. With a skull next to his head. That's never good. That generally means that if you get in a fight with him, it's not going to end well for you. Normally, Gene is a random encounter. I think he sells you. He tries to sell you a dog, and you have to actually talk him into it to convince him you're going to give that dog a good home. Mm hmm. But since we're a bit busy at the moment, Gene can go on his merry way. Remember the last time Gene showed up, you weren't able to convince him because you didn't have enough charisma. <laughs> yeah. I felt bad for that dog. It looked kind of like a Rottweiler, if I remember. There mm -hmm. it is. Our jet systems. There shouldn't be any exterior security. So we'll head into the front. But you know, yeah. Rottweilers are lovely dogs. I'm very fond of them. Yeah. I like, I like Rottweilers. They're... Oh, you know, I never checked the Gladius front, ter front desk terminal. Oh well. You just lead the way right in the front there, uh, Paladin Dance. I'll just be right behind you. Listen up. We do this clean and quiet. No heroics and by the book. Understood? Uh. This is not this my first red You know, every time they say something about the deep I don't range transmitter, I sit there and I'm... My mind just drops to the... <laughs> uh, it, it... I understand. And you know, after seeing those sunglasses, I've realized I think I need to keep those. Yeah. I mean, really, the only other thing that would have worked is if you had given him a full beard. Yeah. didn't so yeah 
This thing right here has caused me more trouble. Gear versus gears. Yeah, gears can be used to build things. A gear is a piece of... My, somebody sounds like an anti-capitalist. It sounds like somebody here is a socialist. Dance. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have gone over well in the pre-war, uh... Yeah, in the pre-war pre -war USA. He didn't know what the heck, uh... What's the Institute? They're a group of scientists who went underground when the Great War started. Spent the last few decades littering the Commonwealth with their technological nightmares. Synth? Isn't that the same as Robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's Damn it, Barry. They simply can't be allowed Damn it, other Barry! There's the Barry and other Roger Barry. That. Let's move out. But, but my wife, Katya. <laughs> no. Are you a good synth or a bad synth? I'm not a synth at all. <laughs> I... Pardon me, I, I'm having a hell of a time with my uh, chat. Hmm. Yeah, I, that I. No idea, huh? That's yeah. okay. Like you're saying, we'll just let dance continue to take point, take all the any bullets that come our way. <laughs> yeah. It's one of the downsides of Twitch is that it it. Well, at least from from my uh, computer, it just seems to be having a hell of a time keeping me connected to the chat room. Hmm. I don't know why that is. So we got to find a way to open the door while he reconnoiters in this little closed room. I'm sorry, I think Dance here isn't very good with computers. That is entirely possible. Then again, we aren't exactly great with computers. You're more like a hacker novice. Yeah. Why the heck are they making us record this? Oh crap, it's on, isn't it? <laughs> um, this is Technician Rand, Arc Jet Propulsion Division. I'm here with Technician Janowski, work log A1190. Janowski and I have been working on the Mars Shot Project for about three months now, and I think we have the thrust calculations worked out. <laughs> They've been working on the thrust calculations. You know, that... Ha aren't we all... <laughs> hey, easy. If we don't record these logs properly, we're going to get fired. The supervisor is already itching to get rid of us, especially since it's taking us longer than we promised. So what? We've been drafted anyway. We're shipping out in a few weeks, remember? Soon we'll be doing push-ups, eating freeze-dried rations, and just wishing we were spending our day inside a cushy private laboratory. Of course I remember. Hmm. So they were drafting both men and women. my head blown off when I'm on the front line. Keeping my mind on work is helping me deal with the problem. Maybe that doesn't make sense to you, but it's important to me, okay? All right. Sorry. Look. Why don't you toss the tape, and we'll start a new one. Okay, so we could try to hack into the lab control terminal, which is an advanced and thus more difficult one. Or we can go to the lab analyst terminal. Or terminal.
uh, changing passwords on a monthly basis. That's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> but we can set off an automated password change. Corona Records, your terminal password has not been changed in, th in three months. Oh, isn't that what it always is? It shouldn't be a lot more than three months. Uh, Should probably come up with something like, you know, it hasn't been changed in... You know, a couple thousand months. Well, maybe if this was somebody who was around after the bombs fell, but... Uh... Let's see, can't connect to the lab controls, but there is a security door. It's always best to unlock those. Oof. Those things take some killing. So this is our first sight of synths. Which, like so many things, well, for one thing, they're pretty much terrible Terminator-esque, uh... I think I just shot Dance in the back of the leg. Yeah, I think I, I think you're shooting your comrade. Well, or whatever. Uh, let's see, shock bata batons. Huh, glad I'm not in there. <laughs> you know what, Dance? You figure this out, buddy. I'll back you up. You do. I think you've got this. You do you. You do you. I mean, actually, like, literally, I can't, I couldn't squeeze past him for a second there, so... There are a lot of them running around here. We could grab an Institute pistol, but they're honestly not that great. I don't well, know why, but, but I'm not much of a fan of laser weapons in this game. But you know, it might not hurt to have one on hand in case you're running low. I think since follow the general robotic pattern of uh enough chatter. We've got a job to do. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, dance. I think they follow the general robot pattern of actually not having their vitals in uh where you would think they would. Okay, that one had a pipe pistol for some reason. Please stand Please still. Please stand still. So I can more effectively shoot you. Yeah, these things definitely take a lot of killing. What I don't want to do is accidentally wander into one by myself because I think this pistol is. I think is... this pistol sucks. Yeah, it's good enough for dealing with, like, ghouls and some types of raiders, but. And that's really about it. I think I went the wrong way on the lock. This is what I was talking about when you after you've gotten to the point where you're doing expert level locks. Yes. And you yeah. go back to one of these novice. And that's like, damn, you know, this feels a whole lot harder than it has to be. Wait, isn't this oh no, this isn't where we just came through, but it's somewhere else. Huh. I have a cat trying to chew on my cord. Oh, that's no good. Yeah. Wait, is this not where, is this where we're supposed to? <laughs> Did I accidentally stumble into the right direction I was supposed to go? Um. While I was trying to loot. Maybe. Typewriters also have some good scrap in them, but they are uh, heavy. Yeah. I think Dance went upstairs. Well, he went upstairs, and then I unlocked that door, and he turned around and came back through. Oh, don't Ooh. ask me. It's Institute rifle. Ooh, laser. Laser item, honey. And there's a Tesla arc. No, That's... on the floor. Oh, yeah, laser tripwire. That could have been ugly. It's a laser thing. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure why that was red when I tried to disarm it. <laughs> hey, don't ask me. So, ooh, safe. No. No, that is not for kitties. Alex keeps trying to chew on my uh, my cord for my headset because I'm not giving him attention. He 
You just kind of have to finesse it a little bit. There we go. Sweet. I finesse it a bit. I'm actually at the point now. Frag grenades and mines actually weigh something, so. That's the lab terminal that we can't quite get into. But a large toolbox is always interesting. That's right. All kinds of exciting lockpicking on this uh, stream of Fallout. Yes, lockpicking. That's what that's it's... what everybody came here for, right? Lockpicking. Yes, everybody's here for the lockpicking 101. Let's see, some kind of weird sciency equipment. No, I think I actually did manage to stumble into the. I think you did go the right way. By accident, completely by accident. What well, I think is funny is that the Institute synths are actually carrying bottle caps. Well, they have to be able to... No. They have to be able to pay for things if they, uh, you know, run into... Uh... I think the dog just fell on me. I, I agree. I think you did it. he did as well. Okay. I have this. I have the sinking sensation that uh, I'm going to have to use the laser pointer with the cats at some point during this uh, stream, mm -hmm. just so that. Uh, Dance. I'm pretty sure that's an automated terminal that is kicking your ass. I think it's a laser turret. Yeah, I think so. Excuse me. I don't know why I'm. I'm just yawning like. Hmm. Oh. Well, thank you, Good Dance. Good job. Good job, Dance. Way, way to go. <laughs> My job was to provide fire support for Palin and Dance. I don't think he needed your help. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I provide fire support either. Um, let's see. What's down here? Ooh, safe. Safe. There we go. Oh boy. You know, I think you might have been right about the uh, bobby pins taking some damage. Yeah. Each time you use them. Because it does seem like uh, ones that you've been using for a while are extremely fragile. This has got to be close. There we go. Nice. Ooh, more 10 millimeter rounds. And oh. shotgun shells. We like these things. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I gotta say this much for Dance. He's remarkably chill about uh, just standing around and waiting while I'm doing all my looting. Oh, you're you're looting again. Um, oh, okay. Well, I'll just I guess I'll just stay here and uh, wait. Um, so okay, Gone and Bone are pretty similar. Okay. I'm gonna guess roll? No? So it's not the O. Actually, if it had been either... Yeah. It's not the O. Uh, so it's either the N or the E. So let's try free. I think that'll give us a pretty... Okay. See if you can do a clear. Because I'm gonna suggest either... Cage, maybe? Cage or rope. No, cage. Okay, we'll go with cage. Uh, wait, it could be cage or hide. Ah. All right, now we can try them both. Okay, hide is close. But it has two in common. Nice. Ah, there you go. Where's nice? How am I missing that? All right, there it is. Nice. Ironic. Oh, I could probably could have shut off the turrets from here. Wasn't this in line with the turrets? Uh, I might have had to go past one of them. That's a problem. Eh. So somebody named Reinhardt is paranoid, installing automated security turrets in the main hallway. You would think we were working for the military. 
Wait, you you don't know who you're working for? Yeah. I think that that's something you should be worried about. Mm hmm. So there is skullduggery going on here. Isn't there always skullduggery? Demanded the originals. I, I don't know what he's doing with them. I don't want to know. I, as long as I keep getting a paycheck, I could care less. Well. Ooh, a button. Should hit the button. I can't hit the button. Well, let's see. Wake master alarm clock. That's a slightly better alarm clock. Now, before we follow dance, uh, might be a good idea to save and fix this hole that's uh, mysteriously appeared in our glasses. What? You have a hole in your glasses? A hole in my glass. It's empty. Oh. You know, you really need to specify when you're talking about in-game or out-of-game. Oh, yeah, I suppose. <laughs>